Alright, now we are almost out of the very basic weeds of React, and you're about to go from, uh, what is it, frying pan into the fire? Yeah, that, I think that's where we're going, into the fire. But uh, first, you're going to get a bit of firefighting equipment, and we're going to do <laughs> bug fixing. <laughs> um, so I love checking console. When I'm doing bug fixing, console changed my life. I remember when it still, um, when Inspect came out with Google Chrome, it really changed a lot of things that I was doing uh, as a very amateur web developer. And since then, it's it's very useful. So whatever you use um, to check the errors that are, are going on on your web page, use it, use it, use it. Um, don't just try to stare at your code. Uh, change things and see. Uh, what errors you can possibly create. And this is just general bug fixing stuff, but we're going to do a lot of bug fixing and uh, in React. There are also common errors you're going to run into. Uh, there's something called state that's, that's that we're going to run into errors with, uh, events being properly bound, packages properly imported, uh, broken syntax, also things like missing variables or variables that weren't defined quite properly. Uh, again, that way that the, the JSX might be broken in terms of the way it renders. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of bugs that we're running into, and I have just bomb I've just filled a file um, full of different bugs that are all annoying, and a few of them might give not very obvious error messages, and you really have to kind of go back. Um, you may have to go back through a few notes or a few of the videos to find just what the, the problem is. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to help you take care of those ahead of time in this video, and we're just going to go over one of these terrible... Uh, components and try to fix the errors one by one. So it sounds kind of fun actually. I like bug fixing, despite what some may, may think. So here is our file and you might not know it by looking at it, but uh, there's a couple couple errors going on. So I've already saved it and it has rendered and it has given me this error. Unterminated JSX contents. Okay, when I look at what this looks like, none of this looks bad. This is closed. This is a closing and so something's here, so okay, line 26, we got a problem. Um, so that's all closed, and this looks, so this right here looks a little suspicious. So maybe if I was to close that, uh, yeah, that seems like the problem. So once we do that, oh, okay, well, our error changed. So that means that maybe was fixed. Maybe it'll come back later. Maybe it's just an error. Um, now we have a bunch of things not defined. Style array overview gives us line, so line 14, style. So you can see I've actually passed in the style from our old one, but I didn't define it. So um, why don't I give it a constant? In this case, like, it's not going to change. It's very simple. And we'll just uh, do it again, like we did before, font size. Um, let's do 40 pairs. Yeah, 40. Uh, and that should just work. And then array is not defined. Okay, so that we also had done last time. So let's just make a new array. It says fix them bugs. Much better typing this time. And that should just pretty much go the same as before. Uh, and then there we go. Oh, right. We forgot that uh, overview is not defined. So line 35. So down here, export default overview. So this, if you remember, needs to match this. So we can make them both overview, but then we might if something else is referring to this uh, app, this might not render, it might break because the name is different. So let's just make sure it's called app. I just wanted to do that to make sure you remember to change those both when you're making a new component and make sure they match and give them sensible names. But it's so useful how it gives you it right down the bottom. Okay, so I really love writing back. Our page rendered, so we are good, right? Well, let's just look for a sec. Okay, so we do have another one of these errors. And again, we want to get these out. So uh, you, get, you get a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, you can follow these if you get really confused, but um, the, the, plain, the plain ones that you're going to get are just very straightforward. And they'll tell you exactly what to do. So let's change that to class name. Okay, great. So no real errors, but we're not actually rendering this. There's a problem. Now, you might not even notice because there's no error, and this is a problem basically in React sometimes. Uh, so you might not even realize an error is going on, but it should be displaying these. So why is it not displaying the words? We had it just like before. Array, fix them bugs, we map it, and there is 
So I used to make this mistake all the time, and that's why I put it here. And you have to remember, you actually have to return a value. So here on line 21, it says, expected to return a value, an arrow function. And here it is. And if you don't actually return it, it's not going to render, just like we have a return function here. And it's just something, it's part of the syntax, again. It's going to keep you tight on your syntax. And in this case, you would actually notice that error, so it's good to check it, um, just to make sure your page is rendering. So there's that actually working now. So let's just make sure that this is working as we expect as well. Uh, yeah, okay, clicked is working great. We have no more errors or uh, suggestions even. Looks like everybody's happy, so you could have anybody look at this page and they would tell you that you did it uh, more or less, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not really react but it's fine. Uh, and so from this, I hope that it will get you prepared properly for the next um, little assignment that I give you, which is going to be more or less like this, just a busted up page that you're going to have to go in and fix, and I will have the answers for you. But use a few of these methods. Check the console. Make sure that thing. Make sure you actually look at the code and what it what it might be trying to be doing, uh, so you don't miss a case like that where we never saw an error, but there wasn't something showing on the page. And I do have faith in you, and we're going to come back, and you're going to be better, and we're going to go right into data and actually start messing around, making something a little bit more interactive and a little more fun. Uh, so I'll see you again in the next section. Great job.